the CRPD was adopted in 2006, that was a great achievement. CRPD is revolutionary. Australia was one of the first countries to ratify the CRPD. CRPD has given us the ability to stand up for our rights. Development for all was a result of many people lobbying the government. It is a remarkable development. A specific disability section was created in Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. When the Australian government uh, uh, took the, the lead in developing the Development for All, um, in 2008, they brought in uh, DPOs from the region. What the CRPD has done has empowered lots, many DPOs. Okay, so DPOs, it was really important for them to make a contribution to this process. But ultimately, it's the government that must make a political commitment. That support uh, for the DPO to actually uh, go out and advocate was provided by the Australian government. And in 2013, Papua New Guinea ratified the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability, and that was a great time. really makes me proud to be Australian. The human rights that people with disabilities have had in Australia for a very long time should actually be global rights. We must include and involve persons with disability in the planning process. The principle of nothing about us without us is one of the most important principles. So development for all, the first strategy finished, what would happen? We were really excited to learn that there would be a new strategy for development for all, 2015 to 2020. There is lots to celebrate. We have a lot to celebrate, but we can do a whole lot more. We can do more. Australia can do more to champion disability inclusive development. How many people with disabilities are in positions of power? People with disabilities can be leading organisations. We can be heads of departments. They can be teachers, they can be politicians, they can be lawyers. We can lead organisations. They can be lecturers, they can be anything. Why aren't we everywhere? We need to do more. Let's do it now together.